Yo, what's happening, man? It's your big brother back with another pop of ducks. Y'all already know what's up. And I see when I did the video yesterday about the Kamala Harris situation, you know what I'm saying? So a few people, you know, probably felt a little different. But like I say, you got to know what you're going up against. This is the United States of America, bro. The, 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 all the proof is there. You know what I'm saying? There's never going to be a president or anybody in politics that's going to be able to help liberate black people because it's never designed for that. It's just, I'm just calling out the facts. That's it, bro. Like, I know you might want it to be different, but no, the United States used black people to get to black people. I told y'all this, bro. It's just like most Chinese restaurants. They use black employees because black employees relate with black customers. It's business. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just the facts. You get what I'm saying? We as black folks got more um, political figures around the world from judges, sheriffs, mayors, you name it. But yet, no power. Like, come on, bro. It's just the illusion that something has changed. Look what just happened to Sonya. They ain't just killing, the police ain't just knocking off black men. They knocking off black women. Ain't showing that shit to the world. I told you I could post a person in a thong and they'll flag that bit. Man, you got the whole world watching this buck breaking take place. And these people are laughing at the fact that they did this to this woman. This is buck breaking. This is psychology. Most people don't understand that. If I show you something, I can fool you or make you think what I want you to think. But look at the look at the overall results. Black people have the have one of the most political figureheads around the world with no power. We got judges, sheriffs, mayors, you name it. No power. And this is why I say it's no different for Kamala Harris. It's no power, bro. It's just the illusion, just like they did with Barack Obama. Or we got a black president. What the fuck does that mean? Nothing. The only reason why I'm telling y'all this, the way I'm telling y'all this, is because I don't have the time to be playing with these people. They're not going to fool me, bro. I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. And you're not neither. Like, come on, bro. Make it make sense. For one, I don't even believe in a man leading another man, right? They have different ethics, backgrounds, cultures. How? How could Joe Biden lead me? It don't make sense, bro. I'm not going to play that game with my one only life. I got an idea. Right? If, and I'm going to say black folks because we get it the worst, bro. We, we got it the worst. We are at the bottom of the total pole. If black folks selected black candidates, we select them. And we then elect from that selection, right? We pick our own black president, right? We create our own hub where we can donate our money to this one person, not to lead us, but just to be a figurehead to, to, to when something like this happened with Sonya, to we have a hub as black people to go against this type of racism in America. It'll create... Not the illusion, but it'll, it'll create <clears throat> the idea that we don't have to be a part or consolidated or assimilated with the United States of America because we're not. How can you tell us we're a part of, we the people, we're a part of the United States of America where we always get fucked over in front of the world, bro? On all, I'm talking about on all levels when it comes to finances, we can't get loans. When it, when, dog, when it comes, you name it. When it comes to anything, we are the, at the bottom of the total pole. So let's get our own president. Let's get our own democracy, our own republic, our own. And it doesn't have to be a part of the United States. Fuck them. We got a we got a person that we we voted in for us to represent black people, not the ones they give us, the Al Sharpness, the Jesse Jacksons, and all the motherfuckers. No. And now it'll, it'll create something in your mind. The, the, the separation of, we don't have to be with America. America ain't with us. Or just people in general. To be honest, who says that America's government is the one primary government we should go with? Who says this, bro? They do. I 
told you they take away your critical thinking. You think because we create our own police. We don't need they fucking police. And especially if we see what they are doing. Bro, this is our lives. But they have tricked us and got us thinking. And they've 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 put curriculums on us from a child that says you need authority in your life. To, uh, you need to be governed. You need to be told what to do. You can't do it by yourself. That's bullshit. We create our own police department. The Black Panthers did it. I told y'all the Black Panthers were the closest one physically to the coup d'etat and shit. To overthrow the government, they were the closest ones. You better look what, um, what they did with Cointel Pro. These people are known. Look what they did with JLK. When JLK wanted to go against um, uh, uh, the CIA. Because he knew what they was doing. What they did. In front of the world. Pilt this top. You are dealing with the most corrupted, nastiest, demonic, nastiest motherfuckers in the world, bro. And you really think these people going to help you? You done lost your damn mind. Like, it's time to wake up. You know who you dealing with, bro? These people will sacrifice themselves, man. I told you, man. They don't have a direct connection to the sun, bro. They don't have a soul. The Egyptians knew this. Okay? I told you, when you see the hieroglyphics on the wall with the, with the, with the circle cut out, all oh, this is cut out. That means they don't have no bar. B A A. Meaning they don't have a soul. These are the people you can work for for 40 years. As soon as the numbers don't look right, they will cut you off like you did nothing for them. These are the people you're dealing with. They'll crawl on their stomach like they're sick. And then when you reach down to help them, they'll turn around and blow your fucking brains out. But if we create our own democracy, because I told y'all we're not free as black people. Or people in general. We're not free. We're just being assimilated. That's all. Meaning, y'all are free. But like I say, y'all are still being told what to do and dictated by the same people. Governed by the same people. That's not freedom. Fuck that. If we, if we was really free, we have our own president. Democracy. We have our own uh, everything. And like I say, if we just... just had our own, uh, you know, get some people, some, some prominent people that we know, same way they do with the election, so run for president to represent black people against America. Meaning, it'll it'll create, it'll create that separation, bro, to where black people will start seeing the power that we have once we come together and consolidate. Think about what I'm saying. We don't need they, they president. Like, people think, though, the president of the United States, the only... Man, the motherfuckers are human just like us, bro. Well, some of them. Anyway, we create our own president. We have a black president that we elected. We the people. We the black people. And we have a fund that we put our money towards. Because you put your money towards Kamala Harris to run in their elections. Playing their game. It'll never work. No, we need our own. Someone where we, the people, look like I said, it's, it, this is how it's supposed to be. Okay? It is supposed to be where the people is running shit. Not a small group of people. See, that's the difference between democracy and a republic. Okay? The people are supposed to make the decisions. But they done fooled us. They got a small group of people making decisions for everybody. No, let's get our own black president. And when we have issues like the Sonya issue or any other issue dealing with black racism in America, or just, you know, when it comes to black businesses, just, just for us to see the power that black people have, you know, the spending power that we have, to where we start building our own, getting our own factories, getting our own stores, real businesses. You know what I'm saying? We got all the juice. Everybody around the world rapping like black people. Everybody around the world want to take what we bring to the table and use it against us only because we're playing in their field. We're playing in their game. And this is no disrespect to nobody, but like I say, if you see a people, and I, and there's some white people that, uh, that, that, that definitely agree with this. If you see some a group of people, black people, whether it's the Indians, whether it's not, the, not them fake-ass Indians, I'm talking about the real Indians, or a group of people that's being took advantage of, Speak on it. You shouldn't look down on them because they want to do better. Like, fuck that shit. Hell no. 
We get fucked. We get we get we get messed over, and this is what we need to do. We need our own. Let's create our own president. You know what I'm saying? That gonna represent black people. That's gonna bring real education to the table. That's gonna teach us how to take and consolidate our money and build. Because if we are, if we keep playing their game, bro, it'll never happen. You can kiss it goodbye. You people wake up every day, and they got night shift, day shifts. They got different. They got so much shit that's on their side to help them promote their agenda. To most people don't understand the war that we're fighting. The very people you, you when you speak of religion, these are the very people that gave you the religion that you you speaking on. I don't know one nigga that got a printing plant or pressing plant that can press up these books. And you know what book I'm talking about? You must understand, bro. Stop being a, a fucking mental slave, bro. God ain't gonna punish you because you want to know the truth, nigga. Stop being so fucking scared. God gave you everything you need to go out here and do what you need to do. Get off your knees, bro. That's the problem. Nigga, you on your knees, nigga. While you on your knees praying and hoping and wishing, nigga, they out here putting in work. You know what I mean? They out here. Ugh. Come on, bro. Like, come on, my nigga. If that's the case, nigga, I'd rather take my chances, bitch. Because I see what's going on. I have common sense, bro. Most people don't. And that's why you're going to continue to get taken advantage of. You will go to a church, get a preacher all your money. The preacher gonna spend his money on him and his wife and his family right in front of your face just to give you the word of God. God gonna look at you and say, you gotta be a damn fool. I gave you common sense. This man pulling up in a $300,000 car, you pulling up in an Uber. And you mean telling me you finna keep giving your money to him? And your family ain't got nothing? I told you, man, you have to fit the description to fit the description. You can't be in politics unless you was a dirty motherfucker, man. You can't play that game being a clean person. They ain't designed for that. You name one, one person that's in politics as far as uh, city commissioners and all that, whatever you want to call it, and coming to make a change for the people. You have people like that that'll run, but when they get in there and try to make that change, they get them out of them. So it ain't the people, it's the system. That's all I'm saying. You got good people. You got good people that'll run to be a, a, a city commissioner, sheriff, whatever. Good people. But it's the fucking system they running for. You get what I'm saying? So we need to create our own system because we know what, what starvation, we know what uh, inequality look like. We know what all these things look like and we see it every day. But why we keep going for this shit? You feel me? That's why I tell y'all, man, you gotta start, we got to start wising up, dog. Until we start getting like this, man, military, militant, and, and just just use the common sense and stop using all these different things to pacify our, our you know what we going through. man fuck all that man they got their guns up we put our guns up we need our own president somebody we can say listen we donate our money to we ain't donate our money to no preacher no more but we see what that get what, what that get us nothing donate our money to towards something that's gonna consolidate us and put us in a better position in a plan position because like I say right now we don't have a seat to the table because of every bitch at the table from different nationalities, we funding them. Cause we buy everything they produce. Our money going towards them. So instead of them, we put our money over here towards us. We build our own shit. That's when you're gonna see a change. That's when you're gonna see the ones at the top start jumping and they're gonna be turning against each other trying to get over here cause they see what's going. I'm telling you, you're dealing with the money people, bro. You understand me? You're dealing with demonic people that'll stab each other in the back, bro. Once they see black people consolidated and we, we, we catching on, them bitches at the top gonna start trying to come over there where we at. You see what I'm saying? But until then, as long as you playing their game, nothing's going to change. So with that being said, your boy Papa Duck, I love y'all and I tell y'all ass all the time. In order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I'll get with you on the next. Peace.